So we use play to help people with chronic conditions like diabetes or people who are battling obesity to engage their social networks, to engage their own internal play instinct, to engage them with the clinical care, the clinical care programs that they have typically otherwise had a difficult time engaging with. We have tens of thousands of people that play our games all over the world. What we're looking at here is the community quilt that we built for the Diabetes Sisters Foundation. This project's funded by uh, Santa Fe Ventus. Um, what we're looking at is a quilt built by all the members of the Diabetes Sisters community, women in their 50s and 60s who have come together to support each other in the management of their diabetes. So as we're looking at the quilt, each one of these small quilts represents a story that somebody has told about how they've managed their diabetes more effectively, helping each other understand the tools and techniques they are individually using to manage their diabetes. We don't just give them missions, we might say, Go to bed early three times this week. We know that's helpful for your diabetes, but don't just come back and tell us that you did it. Tell us a story about it. Tell us how it improved your sex life or helped you feel better in the morning when you got up and went to work. Um, each one of these small squares represents a story that somebody has told about the management of their diabetes. These large squares represent people, and as we learn about the people in the community, we're actually using a kind of personality match algorithm, think of something like eHarmony, to move those people closer to the center of your quilt so that not only are the stories that you see interesting, but they're more relevant to you because they're from people that might live close to you or share interests with you.